In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use a SPECT photometer. A SPECT photometer is used to read the absorbance of various samples. Now, when you first get your SPECT photometer, you will need to remove the cover and then turn it on. And there's a dial in the lower left hand corner. Once you turn it on, if you look in the window, it will begin its initialization process and this can take several minutes. So we're going to wait for this to happen. Once it is initialized, it is time to set the wavelength that you're going to be using and to blank the machine. In order to set the wavelength that you are using, you use these two buttons here that says NM arrow up or NM arrow down. So for this demonstration, I'm going to set the spectrophotometer to 540 nanometers by pressing on the NM down. So now that it is set to 540 nanometers for this example demonstration, I'm going to blank the machine. This will require a solvent blank. Uh, all you do is you open the chamber. You put in your solvent blank, which is in a prepared cuvette. Close the chamber and press the button that says 0 ABS 100% T. And when you do, you'll see the message setting blank. And when it's done, it'll read the wavelength that you've set it at, in this case 540 nanometers, and 0.000 uh, a and that age simply stands for absorb uh, absorbance. In this class, you will only be doing absorbance readings, not percent transmittance readings. So what we've done now is we have uh, canceled out all of the absorption that is due to the solvent that's used in the experiment. So now to read the wavelength of samples, you remove the solvent blank, you put in your sample cuvette close the chamber and read. In this case it says 0 0.226 uh, is the absorbance. If I want to read multiple samples all at the same wavelength, I don't have to do any readjustments. I just need to open it up, put in the next sample I want to read, close it, and then read the absorbance for the subsequent samples. You do need to re-blank the machine anytime you change the wavelength. So if you have to change the wavelength, you reset the wavelength, you put in your solvent blank, and once again, press 0 ABS 100% T.